As we first told you this morning at 7 o'clock, Cedar Rapids already has experienced its highest river level. Fox 28's Kevin Berry shows us how the community reacted to dry streets this morning. Cedar Rapids is breathing easier with the river cresting last night while the streets stayed dry. It is a weight off the shoulders because, you know, you, after going after the 2008 flood and having to recover from that, you don't want that to happen again because you lose everything. Once the crest was passed and we really didn't even get our socks wet, we think it's, a, we think it's safe to take things away. I thought I'd have to go through 08 all over again. It is actually a very pleasant surprise to come down here and it's not wet. You may not see these concrete barriers or sandbags on the streets in the next few days, but it's still dangerous to forget the lessons they represent. Whenever you haven't done a flood for a while that makes your response slower and you have to do it again, there's also new things that we find on each flood that we then put into our bag of tricks and that we could then go out and work on. Even with the worst over, relaxing now could be dangerous. We still have to be vigilant throughout the today and tonight so that if there's any other storm protection areas that fail, that we have to be there and be able to respond immediately. We're going to keep several of the sandbags on hand still out front. I'm going to make a little room for uh, me and my customers coming in because I'm going to open up again tomorrow. If there's some sense of a false alarm, then people become complacent the next time. We don't want that to happen either. In Cedar Rapids, Kevin Barry, Fox 28 News. Extra sandbags can be returned to the sites where they were made. Those resources can be reused for other flooding or during the winter.